Hey, welcome back. This is an add-on to the uh, previous video on dynamic range and latitude. A little bit shorter, a little bit more concise, and we're going to look at the application of latitude to the characteristic curve and how it applies to the real world. So let's get to it. I now want to get on to dynamic range in the real world. So uh, as I said earlier on, the, the dynamic range uh, that your eye can see is 30 to 30, 32 stops. So about a billion to one. But a camera is much less than that. Let's say it is 15 stops. Uh, then you can see half the range of the human eye. Now a lot of people think that cameras can see exactly the same as you do see by eye, but that's just not the fact. The fact is that the human eye is much more sensitive. Now, uh, let's take an example of say, uh, the real world where we've got 30 stops of latitude and let's just say for example's sake that we've got a camera that's only got six stops of latitude and let's say that's two stops of overexposure and four stops of underexposure latitude so loses detail in the highlights at plus two and it loses detail in the shadows at minus four but let's just look at that six stops if we place our exposure dead center in, the, in, in that range, then our six stops of latitude is going to leave a lot of, of uh, overlap at the, at the highlight end and the shadow end where we're not going to have any detail. Because once we're off that six stops of, of uh, latitude of our camera, then we, we lose detail in the, in the highlights and the shadows. Um, so that's, that's taking it and saying, okay, let's place our exposure dead center and we'll call that normal exposure. Now let's say we slide everything down the other way and we decide that our normal exposure is gonna be down in the shadow end of, of the range. Well, we've still only got six stops. So now everything in this shadow area of the range is exposed correctly, but everything in the highlights is, is overexposed and we've lost all the detail. Let's say now we move it up the other way we slide our six stops of exposure latitude up to the other end of the scale. Now we've got all the highlights correctly exposed and everything down the shadow end is just falling into black and there's no shadow detail at all. So the question is how do, how do we go about fixing that? If that's the actual dynamic range of the, of the real world is the 30 stops and our camera has a latitude of six stops, how do we fix it? Well, there's a couple of ways of fixing it. You can do it with one, lighting and grip, or you can do it with number two, uh, by changing uh, menu settings in your camera. Now, if we look at it from lighting and grip, let's say we place the exposures dead center in the, in the range. The highlight end, we can control by using uh, grip gear like nets and flags and silks and knock the overall exposure level of the highlight area down to bring it down into the range uh, within the latitude range of the camera. And on the shadow end, we bring the lights in and we can light the shadow area up and bring them up into the bottom area of the latitude range of the camera. So, so we, we set our normal exposure in the center uh, or wherever we decide, it could be a little bit down to the shadow end, it could be a little bit up to the highlight end, but wherever we put it, we're going to have overlap. And then we use lighting and grip to bring the highlights down, uh, the grip to bring the highlights down and lighting to bring the shadows up. So that we bring everything within that latitude range. Now, if we use the menus, we can use menu settings to do what the characteristic curve shows us, and that is change where the knee point is and maybe bring it down and roll off into the highlights at a different, a different uh, point. Uh, we can flatten the highlight gamma down, out so that we get more, sh more highlight detail and, and hold the highlight detail a little bit longer. And then we can do the same down in the shadow end. However, no matter what we do, we're not going to be able to expand the curve far enough to get the same sort of impact and the same sort of control that we would by using lighting and grip. So the important thing here is that when you, when you go into a set and you're lighting a set up, that you understand that you've got the latitude of the camera 
and you've got to bring all those ratios to within the range of the latitude of that camera, whatever that latitude might be, whether it's six stops, eight stops, 10 stops, 15 stops, whatever it is, you want to bring it within that range. The other thing you want to do is don't compress it in that range. You want to use the entire straight line portion of the curve because that's going to give you the greatest tonal separation throughout the set and throughout the lighting. So, uh, so you've, got to, you've got to bring the highlights down to within the range. You've got to bring the shadows up to within the, the range and try to use the entire straight line portion of that curve. If you like what you saw in this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you've got comments, either good or bad, pop them in the comment section down below. I'm always interested to hear what you've got to say. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that subscribe button so you get notified when new videos come online. And once again, thanks for watching. See you soon.